Now in this session, we'll understand uh, some of the questions which appears uh, from the area of time, speed and distance and I categorize it as meeting point problem. We get the problems in both linear as well as circular also, right? So for both of them, there are different approaches and in, in this series of video, I'll also be discussing some important uh, methods like GPS method of solving questions uh, related to meeting points. So I would recommend that you should be uh, going through these videos till the end to learn that very important method of GPS. Now in this question, if I take, then it says that there are two cars which are simultaneously moving from A to A and B which are 60, uh, 600 kilometers apart. Now the speed of the first car is 30 and the speed of the second car is 90 and we need to find that the distance of the meeting point from point A. This is a very, very easy question. Everybody can solve it, I believe. Uh, the only thing which we have to remember when the, there is question related to meeting points that when uh, we know that the speed is uh, distance upon time, right? So whenever the distance is constant, the speed is inversely proportional to time. And whenever the time is constant, then speed is directly proportional to time. So these are the only two logics apart from relative speed, obviously, we'll be using to solve these kind of questions and definitely a new methods of tackling some difficult questions. So this question is pretty easy here. We can see that uh, we can take two approaches. One is relative speed. So if the point is say A and B and the person starting from A has a speed of 30 and the person starting from B has a speed of 90 and the, dif uh, the distance is 600, then the time taken would be 600 divided by their relative speed. Since they are moving in the opposite direction, the relative speed will be 120. So it will give me five hours, right? So we need to find the distance from point A. So suppose these are the, this is the point C where the meeting happened. So AC distance would be nothing but 30 into 5. This is the speed with which the person was moving for 5, five hours and they met. So the distance would be 30 into 5 which is 150 kilometers. So this is the straight away answer. The other way we can take it here is that since in this case both are starting simultaneously. So this is very very important. Many a time the, uh, in the question you will come across this particular term simultaneously. So when both the people are start simultaneously and when they meet, one thing is sure that irrespective of what their speed and distance travel, the time is always constant or constant in the sense the time taken by both of them will be same, right? So here what we can do is that if the time is same, then the distance is proportional to the speed. So here uh, the speed ratio is 30 is to 90, which is 1 is to 3. So whenever they meet, the distance traveled by them would be in the ratio 1 is to 3. Now the total distance is 600. So for the person from A, the distance travel would be 1 by 4 times of 600, which comes out to be 150. So this is another way of tackling such kind of questions. I believe this is very, very elementary question. Everybody can understand it. I just took it to ensure that we uh, 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 person can understand from the basic till the advanced level. Now let's move to the next question. Now here again, I'll be taking a similar kind of question. Here it says that the distance between the two towns is 200 kilometers and Amit starts from point A towards point B at uh, 9 a.m. in the morning and the speed is 20 km per hour. Saurabh on the other hand starts from B towards A at the same time and the speed is 30 km per hour. So the ratio of their speed is 2 is to 3, we can see, right? And we need to find that what time they will cross each other. Since the, uh, the time when they started is given, so we just need to find the time taken to uh, time taken for meeting. It's very similar to the previous question. So here again, we can apply the similar logic that the time taken would be 200 km divided by their relative speed. Now here the relative speed is 50, so which comes out to be 4 hours. So after 9 a.m., they will take four hours more to meet. So the time would be 1 p.m., right? So which is option three. So with these two examples, you have understood the very basic logic of applying relative speed as well as the ratios, right? Now let's move to the next question. Now this is very interesting question. This has already appeared in CAT, I think 2004 or five. And uh, the question can be solved by the simple application which we have seen in the previous two uh, uh, examples. Now here it says that the train approaches a tunnel AB and the cat is located at a distance 3 8 of the tunnel length from point A. And a train whistles, car, uh, the cat starts running and if it starts running towards point A, that is towards the entrance of the train, then the train catches at the entrance. And if it starts running towards end B, then the train catches the, uh, catches the cat at the other end. And we need to find the ratio of the speed. So it's a very beautiful question. Now let us understand with the help of 
this approach so suppose this is point a this is point b and suppose the train is some uh, some place uh, away from point a and this is the place where cat is there right so here is the point of cat uh, point c suppose where cat is staying and the distance is 3 8 of the total tunnel so uh, let me assume that the this distance ac is 3a and cb is 5a right now the time taken by the train or I would say that the distance, let us take the distance from the entrance. This is entrance and this is the exit point. So suppose the train is at a distance L away from the entrance and when the train whistles, the train was at a distance L and the cat was distance 3A from the entrance. Now whenever both started together, whenever they meet at the entrance, the time taken would be same, right? So let me assume that the train's speed is X and the cat's speed is Y. So we can say that it would be the time taken by train would be x by l and the time taken by cat would be 3a by y right and these two should be equal i believe this part is clear let me assume it to be equation one secondly the second scenario is that the when cat starts moving in this direction then the train uh, catches at the exit point so we can say that the time taken by cat to move a 5a distance with a speed of y should be equal to the time taken by train to cover this entire distance which is l plus 8a times of x here again i can write it as l by x plus 8a by x now let me substitute l by x as 3a by y here so we'll be getting 5a by y is equal to 3a by y plus 8a by x now here again we can just ignore a so it will be 2 by y is equal to 8 by x or we can say that the value of x upon y is 4 is to 1 so this is the answer now this is a very conventional method of solving such questions now let us apply an alternative method of the same now here we uh, what we can do is that suppose this was the point a this was the point b and say this is the entrance and this is the exit and this is the place where the train was there and this is the place where cat was there Suppose the distance is 3a and 8a. Now the point here is that the time taken for cat to move a distance of 3a is equal to time taken by train to move at the entrance. Or I can say that whenever cat moves a distance 3a, the train is at the entrance position, right? So what we can do is that if the cat is moving in this direction, so this entire distance is 5a because the complete distance is 8a. So uh, suppose the cat was moving in or uh, towards the exit and it had traveled say 3a distance so the balance is 2a the moment cat is at point d which is 3a distance away from the its initial position i can say that the train would have reached at the entrance so the new position of train is t dash right now the time taken for cat to move the balance distance that is 2a is equal to the time taken by the train to move the entire tunnel distance that is 8a now when a time is constant then i can say that the speed is directly proportional to the distance right so we assumed that the x is the uh, speed of train and y is the speed of cat then we can say that x upon y must be equal to their uh, distance covered in that same time so the train covered 8a distance at the same time cat travels to a distance so straight away we can say that the ratio is 4 is to 1 i hope this particular logic is also clear and you can appreciate this method uh, compared to the previous method this is also correct but it will require a lot of time also and this method definitely gives you an answer within 30 seconds i hope you have understood this question if not then definitely i'll recommend uh, pause it go back again revise it because this these two difference of the approaches need to be understood clearly correct now let's move to the next thing now let's take this question this is purely a meeting point uh, kind of question which is the objective of uh, this session and it says that the rakesh and nishan they start simultaneously again so definitely whenever they meet the time taken would be same so the speed will be directly proportional to their distance travel right now from the opposite end a and b respectively so let me just draw the scenario so this is say point a where rakesh is there and this is point b where nishant is there and they uh they meet at 4 pm in the evening uh, no sorry uh, they started at 4 pm from their but uh, from their respective ends and they meet somewhere between a and b so suppose this is the distance or this is the point c where they meet and after meeting they took 4 hours and 9 hours respectively to reach the other end that means after meeting a took 4 hours to cover the distance cb and after meeting 
uh, Rakis took four hours to cover the distance CB, and after meeting, Nissan took nine hours to cover the distance CA. That's what this particular statement means, right? So this is not the total time taken by them to cover the entire distance, but time taken after meeting. Now we need to find the time of their meeting and the ratio of their speed. So this is a very specific kind of question. We have a shortcut formula, direct formula wherein we apply. I'll derive it here so that you remember it. Now let me assume that the speed of uh, the person starting from A is X and the speed of uh, person starting from B is say Y, right? And whenever they meet, the time taken would be same. So let me assume that the AC is the distance which was traveled by Rakesh with a speed X and he took say TM times. This is the time taken for meeting or the time taken by Rakesh to travel distance AC. Similarly, BC distance is traveled by Nishant at a, at a speed Y and he too will take TM time, right? Because both are starting simultaneously, correct? So the, whenever they meet, the time taken would be same. Now, after meeting, say CB is the distance which will be traveled by Rakesh at a speed X and suppose he took TA times to reach at point B and after meeting CA is the uh, distance travel to be traveled by Nishant with speed Y and he will take TB time fine and this T and TB in this particular question is 4 and 9 so uh, at the end whenever when we uh, derive the relation we'll substitute these values right so if I draw the scenario here so let me take this this is the time taken by Rakesh to travel the distance AC. This is the time taken by Bridges to try uh, so Nishan to travel the distance uh, BC, right? Now, Rakesh was traveling with a speed X, so the distance AC would be this much, right? So I can say that the if the speed is there, time is there, then the distance is X into TM. Similarly, BC would be Y into TM, right? I hope this part is clear. So Y into TM is this distance. Now further CB is the distance after meeting Rakesh travel with uh, speed X but took the time TA. So here again I can write CB distance as X into TA. So this distance can further be written in different way and that is X into TA. With the same logic CA is the distance which is traveled by Nishant with speed Y and he took say TB time. So this distance would be Y into TB. Now we can see that AC distance itself can be uh, written to two different ways that is x into tm or y into tb similarly bc can be written as y into tm into x into ta so i can e directly equate that x into ta x tm should be equal to y tb let me assume it to be equation one and the other equation would be y tm is equal to x ta so let me assume it to be equation number two now let me divide equation one with equation two so what do i get I'll be getting XTM divided by YTM and that is equal to YTB divided by XTTA, right? Now here we can say that this will get cancelled out and on rearranging the things, we'll be getting X square upon Y square is equal to TA upon TB. Or we can say that the directly we can write that uh, the ratio of their speed would be under root of TB upon TA and that is the relation that uh, 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 that is the relation we wish to get right because here it says that we have to find the ratio of their speed so the ratio of speed will be directly be under root of the time taken by b after meeting divided by time taken by a after meeting right so for this we can uh, directly get that the ratio x upon y would be equal to under root of 9 by 4 which comes out to be 3 by 2 so the ratio of, of their speed is 3 is to 2 correct now let me uh, get uh, the time taken for meeting. So we have to get the value of TM. So uh, in the initial case, I divided one by two. Now let me multiply one with two and let's see what do we get. So if I multiply one with two, we'll be getting X into TM, X TM into Y TM. That will be equal to Y TB into X TA, right? Again, we can see that X and Y will get canceled out. So straight away we'll be getting TM square is TA into TB. Or we can say that TM is nothing but under root of TA into TB. So again, we have got the relation in terms of the time taken after meeting. And that is geometric mean. So the time taken meeting for meeting would be the geometric mean of the time taken after the uh, to reach the respective des uh, ends after the meeting point. So for this question, the time taken TM or meeting time would be under root of 4 into 9, which comes out to be 6 hours. 
so this is the answer for this specific question but please remember these two end result this is very very important such question appear and whenever it appears you can just by reading sense or sense it out because it would be given the it would be given that after meeting they will take certain kind of different times so that is sufficient enough to understand this is this question falls in this particular category and we have to and we have to apply these